a Champions League group stage draw, a transfer window, and a Premier League match. It can only mean one thing, people. It's the soulful story. God, that was that was weird. that was energized. Intro still available for voiceover work if anyone wants it. I mean, come on, just the emails on my Twitter. Just so, someone, anyone. <laughs> Okay then, folks, welcome back to the Sulphur Story. Now, last episode, we won 3-0 against West Brom and Jalbin, and since then, we have played a match. It was a 6-1 victory over Southampton and uh, David Manzo with the, the hat-trick. Lots of people commenting on David Manzo saying he could be bloody excellent, and I, I agree. He could be he could be fantastic. Um, technicals still need work, but his 15 goals in 18 caps for Mexico suggests he ain't too bad. Quick uh, apology, speaking of Mexico, you're not in South America, Um Sorry, a few people caught up on yesterday's video noticed that I said Mexico is in South America. I mean, it is in the south of America, so that's fine. But yeah, he could be quite good. Sadly for him, though, Menga's back. That's right, players have returned from the Olympic Games. Uh, Di uh, Oliveira, uh, Bamba and Menga will get starts today. Barry, Sergio, Caselli, Casper Vidal, Ankerrand, Hessing and Renan. That is the team that you'll see later on today. But before we get there, the UEFA Champions League group stage draw is upon us. And uh, we are not in pot one or two. Oh, good so we're in pot three pot three at the bottom of pot three great okay then we're as good as celtic that's insulting love celtic equally as much as rangers keep your comments away from me okay let's go through then uh groups to look out for i mean that doesn't look particularly stacked i think you want to avoid the bayern probably manchester united and real madrid groups i mean we definitely avoid manchester united because they're the same nation as us i mean some of those just got a little bit more frightening didn't they good grief look at them okay then that's now one to avoid. Well, this is now us, isn't it? This is where we go. Where are we going? We've avoided. We've we've avoided. <laughs> oh, oh, Celtic. That's fun. Enjoy that. Benfica, Barcelona. Okay, good. Monaco. I mean, that one's not too bad. I mean, we got that one. That's not too bad. Sporting into uh, Lazio go into there. Leon go into there. And then out uh, of the teams here, I mean, who do we want really? One of one of the bottom ones. We can't get Stoke, so it's either Astra, Michelin, or. Basel? I mean, Basel aren't too bad, so we'll see. Right, let's go through. Um, after those four, we've got Kiev, Salzburg, Basel. Michelin are the lowest one there. So we don't want Kiev, essentially. Oh, we got the bottom one. That's not too bad. We'll take that. <laughs> um, Basel, Kiev, and the final group goes to Salzburg. That's quite a fun little group, actually. Anyway, um, that's qu that's worked out quite well. Schalke, um, Monaco, and Michelin. That's not too bad. We'll take that to the bank. Now, interestingly, uh, as we just continue, we might as well see how these fixtures work out. But I've got a plan for the Champions League. Okay, then. What we're going to do um, is ch Champions League episodes, essentially. We're going to do the first three group games in a single episode. Uh, we're then going to do the second three group games in another episode, in just one episode. Um so they're going to be put together very neatly. In the middle, we will play Manchester United, obviously the team that won last time round, and Nottingham Forest. You can see how it's worked out quite nicely, can't you? Um, so Premier League games will happen either side of it. For example, we're going to play Newcastle today, and we may play Derby as well. We'll see how we have for time with the champion with the window. That we don't play them until the 11th of September, so it's a little bit awkward for timings. But yes, uh, Champions League combined into one uh, because I think that it could be quite interesting to see how we progress through the group. And to see it all condensed might be quite fun. So that's what we're going to do. And obviously, I'll update you on league pr proceedings in those episodes as well. Right then, let's crack on. Uh, Newcastle, well, in a couple of days' time, in a day's time. And we need to keep our, our winning run going. We're currently top of the table with a nine uh, nine goals scored, one against. So our, our goal difference is very healthy indeed. Manchester United and Hull on our tail, who play today. Interesting. Uh, and of course, of course, there's three or four days left of the transfer window. Whether we decide to make some moves, I don't yet know. Uh, Francis Quino, I don't know if we say it like that. I mean, Quino, Quijo? People say it's Francis, Francis Quijo. I, I, could be. Your guess is as good as mine. Or yours is accurate and mine's not, which makes it better than mine. I should say as well, I'll mention this quickly during this video, uh, Respect the Equipment t-shirts have been sent out. I've been getting pictures and stuff. So if you've got yours, remember to tweet me with a picture so I can be like, thanks, thanks for, thanks for getting one. Still haven't got mine yet. <clears throat> so just sit and wait. Actually, why not show you... I mean, I don't, I've not seen this yet. Season preview. Oh, wow, we are fifth favourites. That's not very good. 12 to 1. I think this is tosh, to be honest. I think we've got a way better chance than this. But whatever they say, whatever they say... Quim Guerrero apparently is the most valuable player to watch. He's a yep, 450. Fair, fair enough. Okay then. 
Will Leicester, who are, you know, 2000 to 1, will they do it all over again? I mean, probably not. Matty Taylor's in charge. So, take that for what you will. I, I, actually, I'll ask because a lot of people want to know sort of the, in, the inner behind the scenes stuff of this safe. If you want an episode where I literally just talk about things other than my own club and go through all the, like, the extra bits, let me know in the comments. That's a serious question. Would you like sort of an extra bits video where I go through some of the other divisions, see how they've been progressing? It'll be like a 15, 20 minute video going through all the leagues, seeing how things have gone, looking at the like, teams that have dropped off and things like that. It's difficult to do that in a Salford episode, but if you want that as sort of an extra episode, I can do that if you like. Just... Let me know. 2032, so it might be interesting. 16, 17 years. For, oh, well, what a life. Okay, I've already run you through the team. That is what it looks like. The boys from the... Uh, the well, actually, oh, no, Francis Quina. What are you doing in there, mate? Snuck your way back in. How do you think you are? Bamba, De Oliveira, and Menga are back. Oliveira making his debut. Uh, Menga with the first start of the season. And Alabamba uh, in at the back next to Anker Brand Hessing either side of him. And he's good. Well, the two new defenders have to meet Renan. I hope they've shaken hands. I feel bad for you, you're not German, but, you know, things. these decisions have to be made. Okay, Steven Gerrard is my new assistant manager. He's piled on the tackling. He wants he wants damage done. Okay, well, I'm for it, Stephen. For whatever was like, just let them play. Just, you know, it's fine. Which wasn't helpful, let me tell you. Don't want to get any injuries, do we? You know, it's football's a great game, etc. No, Phil, that's why you're not here, mate. Maybe we'll catch in with Phil Neville later on this season, see how the electrician's jobs go in. Maybe he's gone for the January Father Christmas. You never know. Okay, then the game kicks off. We've lost the match stats again. I forgot to bring him back. Um, so a few people asked, how do you get them back? You reset your preferences. That's how you do it. I could do it now, but we're already in. We're involved, so it's too late. But you reset your preferences. That's how it's done. Which then does mean, yes, you have to go and sort out everything the way it was before, which is really good fun. Now, the question is, can we keep this winning run going? We absolutely battered Southampton last time round. We're now away at Newcastle, and Cassetti with the ball in. Close to Menga. Sergio's close range as well, but we don't quite get the goal. Hessing plays over to Vidal, but it doesn't quite get there. And, uh, yeah, I'd like to know if we're having a good early start. What I'll do is, next time that comes up in the middle, we'll put the match stats on there so we can get an idea of what's actually going on. Will my voice survive the episode? <clears throat> okay, ball played through towards Menga. Now, we've had strikers come into this system so far this year and do extraordinarily well. So we're hoping that Menga can do just as well as those boys have been doing. As Vidal plays it to Casper and now works it forward to Menga, who, well, that's not great. Lagarde goes through, plays it across. Oh, Lagarde, he's gone in on goal. Renan, well then. We're going to go to standard immediately. 20 minutes in and uh, Newcastle take an early lead. Not watch the doctor me ordered you can see here Laporte uh it's quite fortunate Hessen was a slide tackle it's not really of their own making it must be said keeper nearly gets there but a 1-0 we're behind let's just uh now this year we're taking things seriously so when we go a goal down we have to actually think about it okay so it's been quite an even game so far let's take a look at the pro zone I'm not shitting you we're taking it seriously okay Newcastle not really been in the game in the first 20 minutes whereas you can see we're it's very middle of the road this game so far so what we're going to do is try and exploit the flanks try and get the ball out there and uh we won't look for the overlap as much though but we will try and get outside on the flanks get our wingers involved a little bit more hashtag strategy now if we score from across i'm a wizard okay sergio's on it now plays it forward to caselli the ball's cut out though and uh oh well it's, well it's poorly played forward as casper fires it back out to caselli mengers around caselli on that right side ball into barry oh my good grief barry nearly had it we've seen that goal before haven't we jeez corner ball whipped in barry cleared immediately though but vidal gets it plays it to hessing on the edge of the box to casper into menga good block by the defender menga though lurking wants a goal manzo will be brought on if needs be de Oliveira plays it in and lagarde nearly gets there barry just slides ahead of him and hessing pumps it forward again so far quite an even game um both teams have had chances we're coming away a little bit i mean at half time you may take another look at the pro zone i'm not joking i know it's almost like that if i want to try this game i will do cassetti with the ball in frick defends it and they get it away but only as far as anchor brand we're keeping some lovely pressure here caselli goes forward caselli to menga it looked offside to me but i think it's going to be given and it is being given julie menga gets his campaign underway first goal for him of the season first start for him of the season and some great work from caselli uh, menga hangs offside for a little bit comes back on in in rhythmic fashion and then uh, fires it into the far corner it's newcastle one salford one back in the game really this is a uh, if anyone gets injured we're gonna have to bring someone in last minute episode <laughs> that's kind of what this game's about as menga I was joking! <laughs> Alright, David Manzo got a hat-trick in the last game. He's coming on. China. Sorry, not the country. I just mean 
Yeah, obviously. So Menga's injured. What sort of injury is it? Potential neck injury. Oh, my. That could be bad. Kind of pleased we brought in a couple of strikers at this point. Didn't have that luxury last time. Uh, last chance before the end of the half. Ankelbrand gets it from a poor corner. And Dragomir plays it forward to Centurion. I mean, some of the names in this Newcastle side. Centurion. Run, I mean, I love that. Centurion, Centurion, Centurion. I just want to say it as many times as I can. I don't have him as a player. Uh, Dragomir. Lagarde. Great save by Renan. Ball back in, but he's offside. Emiliano Centurion. Oh, my God. Make that man a statue. I don't care where it goes. Okay, passionate. I'm happy with the performance. Keep it up. So far, oh, dearie me. No, I'm not happy with the performance, apparently. Um, aggressive. Not happy with the defensive work. Now they look fired up. I mean, I feel like I've said one thing. Yes, now they are confused and demotivated. So let's just... I mean, the pro zone's working well, but the... T t yeah, let's have a look at that again. Distractions, distractions... So Newcastle, all of their things, all of their good work is coming down the middle. Although lots of it, as you can see there, has been rather defensive. Whereas we have uh, have progressed down the middle a little bit. Not really using the width as much as I would hope. Hopefully that changes in the second half. I mean, there, there are things we can do to change that. We will now look for the overlap. Why not? We'll try and exploit those flanks a little bit more. I was, I was being a little bit reserved in that first half, but we'll it could be a little bit more expansive now. See if De Oliveira and uh, Hessing can get further forward. Corner ball for Newcastle. Put in. Back post. Frick. Right there. Renan with a great save. Put behind for another corner. Ball played in. Barry. Heads clear. That's probably going to be the end of the drama here. As uh, Cook finds Centurion, but he's offside. Okay, since the early stages of the game, where it's quite even, we are pulling away. In terms of chances created, not sure how many of them are clear cut because the the match stats disappear. I mean, we can look at it here. Three clears for, uh, clear cuts for us, three for them as well. As the ball's knocked forward, Lima heads down and Oliveira is in. Now, Caselli, are we going to push on our wide men? That's the big question. Caselli on that right side keeps it in play. Ball played in. Barry back stick cleared as far as Casper who uh, is going to go on the outside, it seems. Plays it back into the middle. Caselli's there, and the ball comes in. Caselli at the back post. It's Newcastle 1, Salford 2, and we've turned it round. Let's go. Casper then drives to the byline, and uh, we're, not, we're not really to the byline, actually. Goes a little bit, commits two men, plays a lovely ball to the back post, and Caselli is on hand to prod home. 2-1, we take the lead. Da-da-da-da! da 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 -da -da -da. Okay, 20 minutes left to go. We're just going to see, check in, who's having a good game, who's having a tired game. Um, oh, it's tricky. Uh, Barry's not having the best of matches so far. Rasheen Jameson can play out on that left-hand side. Maybe as an inside forward, though. We do lose natural width, but with overlap on, Hessing will do that job for us, we hope. Um, we should probably pause the game as we do all this, Ben. Right, any more changes to be made? I mean, Nesta Gomez could come on. Maybe for Vidal, who's having a quiet game. So we'll make a double change. Why not? We'll change those two round as well. Now we'll keep that as it was. It was better like that. <laughs> I, was just like, I don't know that much about Nesta Gomez at this point. I thought it might have worked. Um, yeah, Vidal's a great player, but we'll take him off just for the time being. He's not having a great game. 20 minutes left to go. Can we hold on? Or get another one and make it safe? We could have brought Caselli off, but he's having such a good game. I don't want to bring him off at this point, although his tired legs could be exploited on that right side. Lima now. Ball into the middle. Play, play through for Lagarde. Oh, well. Great goalkeeper by Renan. Out like a shot. And, uh, yeah, good. Casper out to Jameson. First real action for him. Plays it inside to Manzo. We've got an option on this right-hand side. Caselli drives forward again. Ball into the middle. Jameson was the back post. Caselli puts it back in. Manzo's there. Vix, I don't know what he's done. Headed it away? Who knows? Out towards Jameson again. And Hessing now on the overlap. Ball to the back post. Caselli's there. Well... I, I said recently to someone that I thought crossing had become less OP uh, in Football Manager since the patch. Well, maybe. Maybe it has. Hessing, though, great delivery. It really is a great delivery, to be honest. It's like on the half volley, and Caselli could have the season of his life this year if he carries on like this. Great goal. Kept him on and have been rewarded. There could be more here. Jameson into the area. Could be a penalty kick. No. Cleared. Good defending at the, in the end. Reyes plays it through to Lima. There's another option if he wants it. Lagarde's there in space. Oh, he's hit the white beam. And he refused to respect the equipment. And for that, he has been punished. Hashtag respect the equipment. Keep your eyes out during the Euros. Some players are outrageous. It's a good save and cleared. And we scramble it away. And a 3-1 win away at Newcastle is just what we wanted. They are bottom of the league, I've now noticed. But even so, we'll take this. And I got through the whole thing without doing a single impression of anyone from Newcastle. Oh, why I? <laughs> Sorry, sorry. Okay, there it is then. Full time. Sold for three. Newcastle won. And that brings us to the end of the game. Uh, well, shall we get Jared to do the team talk? We messed it up so badly at half time that he should have done it either. We'll try and win them round. Calmly say. Uh, actually, no, we'll do it cautiously. I'm not trying to anger anyone. Your defense, your, they were crucial. Your defensive effort. Yeah, let's just be cautious. Your play, yeah, everything was crucial. You're all crucial. Crucial. No, that'll do. Okay, dominate the game. The pro zone uh, inspection. I think it had a difference. The wide men got a bit more involved and we created a lot more problems. So there we are. I'm tactically excellent. Okay, Menga's got a damaged, a damaged neck. 
I mean, it's very vague, isn't it? A damaged neck. We'll send him to the specialist. Two weeks out. I mean, we've got a place to come in, so it's not a big problem. Anchor runs out for six days with a stubbed toe. I mean, I can deal with it. And really, I left sort of it open to do a transfer window if we did incur some big injuries. Actually, we ain't, we, we ain't been too bad. I mean, Kovalev's out for a few days as well. He's got six days on a twisted knee, so he's okay. He will be back. And um, everything's all right. The squad's okay. We've got 33.8 million to spend. I think the way we're going to approach this is that we'll make one big January signing. Chances are there will be an injury at some point during the season and we'll have to bring in a replacement. But as the squad is right now, I don't feel as if we need to change anything. So I don't, I don't want to disrupt things. So with that, we'll bring this episode to the end. If next episode I've brought someone in, sorry, I lied. Oh, by the way, a little bit of news as well. Babayev left. Probably should mention this at the start. What have I just done? Uh, Babayev left to CSK Moscow for £10 million. He just didn't play enough for me. First season he did, and then after that... He was just a bit of a utility man, and we brought in uh, Nesta for that. So Nesta, is that his name? Oh yeah, Nesta Gomez. Oh, it's too many, too many O's and E's. <laughs> what? Okay, that brings us to the end. If you have enjoyed today's episode, smash a like on it. If you can go for a thousand likes, that would be magnificent. And uh, yeah, if you want to see more, subscribe to the channel with love, with care from me, Dr. Benji. Until next time, I'll be seeing you soon. Um, and remember, if you're at the checkout and you hear the beep, think of all the fun you could be having on Supermarket Sweep. New, new outro. I mean, I don't think I can use it more than once.